You may have been feeling a little stressed these past few weeks. Today I'm going to show you how to give yourself a nice stress relieving scalp massage. What you're going to need for it really is just your hands, but in addition to that, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of aromatherapy. This one being vanilla, if you have lavender at home, even a sachet is also a great option. And if you feel like maybe your scalp is a bit dry or you want to give your hair a little bit more love, a little bit of moisture, I would also recommend that you use a little bit of oil. I've got this one from Aveda, which is the Dry Remedy Moisturizing Oil or the new Nutriplenish um, Multi-Use Hair Oil. To begin, I'm going to start with my aromatherapy, just placing a little bit in my hand. I just like to really rub it through and just take this time to warm up that oil, warm up my hands. Because when giving yourself scalp massage, if your hands are cold, it may not be as enjoyable. So a little bit of friction is gonna help. And then we're just gonna take a moment and take a nice deep breath. And then I like to kind of shake out some of that bad energy or nervous energy that I'm feeling. And I'm gonna begin by brushing my hair first. So if you feel like you have any dry spots on your scalp, this is where you can be taking the oil that you have and you can apply them directly to those areas on your head. So even just to apply directly from the bottle or you can apply them to the bristles of your brush. So just keep in mind that you probably don't need very much because a little will go a long way. And I prefer to use a Mason Pearson brush just to go through and remove any tangles in my hair. If you have very curly hair, you can omit this step, or it's also a really good opportunity to take the time and just let your hair be really big and full. Now that I've removed the tangles from my hair, I like to go in with a paddle brush. And because a paddle brush has deeper bristles, they can penetrate closer to the scalp. So you're gonna really feel that invigoration at the scalp. So once again, I'm just going to press, removing any parting that might be existing in my hair. And I am using, I'd say sort of medium pressure as I'm brushing. Okay, so now that I've done with the brushing, I'm gonna go into the massage. So at this point, you can add a little bit more aromatherapy to your hands, or you could add a little bit of oil. I like to start with what I call the scratch. So I just like to almost pretend like I'm going through and removing a big itch that might be on my scalp. So the movements are working all the way from the outside back into the center. And I am overlapping so that I can get every little part of my head. Going down to the base of my neck. So now that I've relieved that scratch, I'm gonna change up the movement. So from here, I'm gonna use my palms and I'm just gonna start to kind of in a circular movement, just palm. And when I'm doing this, I'm also kind of just doing a nice neck roll. It's gonna make it also easier on my shoulders. And now you can repeat these as many times as you want. I usually like to do everything about three times. So now I'm gonna do like I'm pretending to rake my hair, like I'm putting it into a ponytail. And now we're going to pull. So you're gonna go in and you're just gonna to start to pull and squeeze. When I come into the back, I like to look down so that I can really kind of squeeze. And I'm just pulling the scalp up. So just doing that one more time. So at the top of my head, pulling back, squeezing into the sides, pulling back and squeezing. Okay, so at the base of my neck, I'm gonna take a little bit of time here and just where you can feel the base of your neck, you're just gonna rub into very gentle circles. Okay, and then you can even turn your head a little bit to the side and you can kind of 
pull upward. Changing hands now. Hip into the side and just stretching. We're gonna move back into the center, this time with both hands, creating two circles. And then just placing a little bit of pressure right at the back. Give that a second. And then once we've pressed, we're gonna release. And then we're just gonna do a little bit, breaking that hair back away from the face. And then returning or going to the front. I like to place my thumbs at my temples and my two fingers just to the top of my hairline. And then I just like to create little circles. Connecting at the side, taking a moment, coming back up. And again, you can do that about three times or whatever feels good. And then just to finish it off, I take my hands together and I just do one nice strong movement all the way to the back, lowering my head and just shaking it out of my fingers. And there you have it. It's just a nice quick way to relieve a little bit of any stress that might be going on. Uh, you can always finish off by just doing a little bit more brushing or now could be a good time to hop into the shower, shampoo your hair, maybe do a nice conditioning treatment. But I hope at any sort of stressful time, you can take this video and apply it to your self-care.